It's um, Thursday, another time for another Sourcing Challenge talk show. So welcome for anybody who has not seen the show before. Uh, this is a new format for us. Uh, today, I uh, once again have my co-founder for Sourcing Challenge, Aaron Linz, on, uh, and we have a special guest. Um, as we said in the first episode, the, the goal with uh, this talk show is really to get some of the past guest on the interview show on um, to talk about what we feel is, is one of the topics relevant in the day. Um, so we got David Galley, which uh, for anybody who watched the shows uh, from last year, um, and a lot of people did, I know, um, is, uh, is one of the experts on anything to do with uh, LinkedIn and uh, also off LinkedIn, but anything to do with sourcing. So we thought we'd get, uh, get David sure. on, one, to actually catch up on what he's been doing for, I think we had you on right, like a year and a half ago. Uh, what you've been doing in the meantime, mm -hmm. and uh, and for us to to see what we think is is up right now in in the world of sourcing and uh, specifically on on LinkedIn at the moment. So welcome, David. Oh well, thank you. Um, happy to be back. Um, yeah, one of the people who knows stuff about sourcing is probably a better elevator pitch than I usually give. So <laughs> thank you. For that. I'm gonna steal that. Uh, so I uh, kind of. Uh, yeah, so I, I head up the uh, training and testing um, services over at um, Brain Game Recruiting, a uh, boutique recruitment and consultancy firm based out of California. And uh, we do a wide range of training and uh, testing analysis, uh, team skill analysis services and certification in sourcing skills uh, under the uh, sourcing certifications label. Uh, so we've been continuing with that, as you might expect. Um, we. Uh, are still running social list um, two L's S O C I A L L I S T dot I O, which is a um, search uh, tool which allows you to much more easily identify social profiles on the web uh, through a nifty search interface where you can export your search results and enrich them with contact details. We also have a pretty cool contact finder tool built into that now, uh, not a Chrome extension, but it's built into our our, our software service. Um, we just released our third ebook under the Sourcing Certifications Publishing arm, and uh, it's called Sourcing Answers. Uh, uh, it's a whole book of sourcing challenges uh, and their solutions and answers. Uh, about 124, 25 are in the book. Oh, cool. um, it's a companion for us to our examination, our, our professional credential certification exam, uh, the CPSP, but it can also be used for, you know, testing your uh, sourcing uh, staff at their interviews or like uh, doing uh, a benchmarking for your team. Uh, it's based on a methodology we've rolled out a number of client companies in a consultative capacity to, you know, just determine where are your people at? What do they know? What do they not know? What do you need to do as far as professional development? And, you know, have that initial quantitative information that you need to make good business decisions. So uh, ebook available, sourcingcertification.com, sourcing answers. Look it up. I'll I'll, I'll um, link it in the show notes. It'll be available for Amazon later this year, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what we've been up to: books and uh, more classes and, and testing and, and all that. A lot of good stuff. We actually have a fourth book coming out in a few months. I, I can't even tell you about it. That's going to be really really cool. Any hints on on the topic? Teaser. Teaser. Uh, mm. Probably like custom search engines. Oh. Uh, what I can say at this point. <laughs> So well, it's one of your expert topics, so the, yeah, that's definitely going to be something worth waiting for. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be our, our, our best. Yet. Well, each one we do is better than the last. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we gain experience with making books over, yeah. over time. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, I mean, one of the topics that's been up, I think, well, it's up pretty much every week of every year uh, in the recruitment circle, and especially the sourcing circles, is, is LinkedIn and, like, lately LinkedIn recruiter and any changes. Really? Um, I'm happy I'm happy to say I don't have access to LinkedIn recruiter and haven't had so for some time. So yeah, I wanted to I know both Aaron and, and you are working with with the versions of LinkedIn recruiter. Um so in the same continent, same time zone, <laughs> different versions. Different versions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tell us a bit about like what's been going on. And like I, I saw that yeah your your business partner Irina was was saying uh, somehow getting LinkedIn to revert to an older version because it's actually workable. Uh, give us a bit of color <laughs> on what's been going on. So, so if, if you uh, are willing to stay up much later in your evening, you should have <laughs> Reno on to ask because she's actually the, the, the top expert. But um, 
Yeah, so the like six months or so ago, uh, they rolled out a new version uh, over the summer 2019 of LinkedIn Recruiter, which is the worst version they've had yet, unfortunately. Um, and, and I say that mainly because there were certain features that I looked for, um, you know, as an individual user, uh, that they really um, diminished the capability of. Um, they they introduced some interesting ideas, workflows, uh, and some additional reporting capacity, as I understand it. None of which are of any interest to me as an individual, <laughs> uh, but maybe of great value to large team buyers of LinkedIn. So I don't want to say it's like totally valueless, just that they're optimizing for a completely different market segment than me or any other individual contributor I've ever spoken to is in. So, like, that's... I think that's interesting though because they they do have they sell it as two different products, right? They have the they have no they have the agency version of LinkedIn Recruiter. Mm -hmm. which seems like it's just a, they just removed some features and charge you about the same amount. It's actually about 90% um, of the features for 80% of the price. So <laughs> that, it's, I, I guess that's a value. It's well, a it, it, it's, it's a better percentage value than what you get with LinkedIn Recruiter Lite, <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. Uh, it, and actually, if, if you catch a sales rep on a good day, you can actually get it for significant savings over the list price for corporate recruiter. Of course, corporate recruiter, if you're buying like 10,000 seats is, is going to yeah, be you, neg you negligible per seat, scale. but yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's all talk to your rep and, and drive a hard bargain catch them at the uh, September. They do a lot of their, um, their quotas come due um, around the beginning of Q4. Are and they not on, are they not get a on good deal? Are they not on Microsoft's uh, finance year now? Not Which, yet. Well, I mean, they may be, but the sales okay. team, at least as of 2019, was pushing hard. Same time of year, October, it's a great time to get a deal okay. on LinkedIn <laughs> Recruiter or any other paid LinkedIn product that involves talking to a person. Um, because... <laughs> that's when they've historically been pressured to perform uh, and lock in. Also, just because all the contracts that they locked in over all the years are all up. That's, that's true, yeah. Year. So yeah. even yeah. if they move to a different financial year, you're it's not going to let all year. the contracts expire for three months just to <laughs> adjust the spreadsheet. At least I don't think you will. Um, anyway, pro tip. <laughs> I mean, Aaron, you run a lot of that reporting. Like, have, have the additional features been something from a kind of enterprise has that been worth you know, it or? you know what's what the, the one thing that i've always complained about with them is that they're they're well, they're, they're well again of the many things that i've complained about <laughs> is, is their lack of willingness to be transparent like even when you know going back a couple of years when twitter would fail and they'd have the whale and show you um there's these other uh, websites that have like status.io and they can tell you when their mm -hmm. tool's not working properly and maybe if you're not the only one, uh, LinkedIn on corporate now is starting to show you a little ribbon that says, due to blank, reports for the last two days are worth it. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, at least it's a heads up. Um, in the past, you would have to point it out to someone that, you know, we just had a precipitous drop and nobody was clicking on our jobs. Oh, it's because our jobs were down for a few days. I, I just remember when they lost all our projects. Yeah, that happens. Happens, <laughs> happens all about annually. And <laughs> the, only, the only reason we knew is because, yeah, Aaron had been keeping tabs on how many people were in each project so we could prove that they were gone. And nobody knew, but, but it took LinkedIn a couple of days to realize that yeah. Aaron was right. And then, yeah, and then the recovery method was... <laughs> Have you tried you know, to switch it off and switch it on again? Yes. You know, baby and bathwater. Those are your choices. You, know, you can have one or, but you can't have both. Um, would you prefer the water? <laughs> well, so you could revert to when they lost it and lose all your progress since, or. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. You could, 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 could reassign you could the, the, the project free. to somebody else, but then you didn't know what had been going on in that project ever. But you would get the people back in the project. Or you could lose it all and start over. It's, <laughs> those are two bad choices. Um. <laughs> you know, they had uh, the world premier top, like, data science machine learning team put together there a few years ago. <laughs> 
that is the best thing I can say about LinkedIn. The best, I mean, the, the, but you can bring the greatest <laughs> minds together. Um, yeah, none of them are still there, but we <laughs> did have them at one time. Because they were all on LinkedIn, so we, we hit on to them. <laughs> no, but like uh, folks like, uh, oh, what's his name, like uh, Dan Tunkline and uh, uh, Monica, what is her last name? She worked under him and is, is really shined oh, in her own right now. Uh, there's there's a few really sharp people uh, that they had working on some of the algorithms that persist today. Um, I, they did not hire similar quality people. I think for their quality assurance team, unfortunately, <laughs> which shows. Yeah, they, that is a that is a fact. Uh, they they like you said they pushed this new version because so um, every time right, the, I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, going back to that, that, I used to see these, like, I, I, I would love, I'd go in webinars and I'd see that the URL said InVision and that, but, but, and it was like, oh, so this is just a mock-up. <laughs> like, you're showing us a working mock-up of what it could look like. <laughs> and, <laughs> and well, they, so. Uh, they did that thing, right? So the new version, the new UI is so that they would only have one UI. Um, so they rolled out, I think, the mobile, mobile UI version kind of thing. Well, well, actually, the um, their their uh, ETS solution. I think it's available. Have you had access to it yet, Aaron? I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. But I have heard that they actually have functional user seeds for some <laughs> of their partners, um, and and it was in service of that product that the UI changes were rolled out. So. Uh, because all the LinkedIn recruiters have always been one platform with slightly, with, but just with like the main difference between light and recruiter and corporate has always just been, it's the exact same thing, but we uncheck some boxes in terms of what you can, <laughs> yeah, can have you can on your screen. The project with multiple people, you can, yeah, the, 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 the limitations, hiring but it's always been, limitations. Yeah. It's always been the same platform, just with slightly different restrictions on the user and same thing here but they built it all around this new ETS. So that's where the workflows come in, um, where it's, you know, source, review. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But the problem is that um, I think this is one of those few cases where, like, Taleo and, and Brass Ring and stuff may have found someone worse than them <laughs> uh, <laughs> in terms of ETS workflows. <laughs> like, like yeah. No, I mean that, that, that's a real problem. Any anybody who has more than one country, at least, there's definitely a different workflow that I use here than they use in Spain. And, and, and you can no longer edit that. them. You oh, used to God. be able to edit. Uh, well, so the workflows are now based on stat uh, statuses, right? And you, if you recall, in projects, you used to be able to assign different statuses, but you could yeah. edit them on an account and per project basis. But uh -oh. now they're stuck. So any custom statuses applied in a project are there forever and new ones have a limited subset that you can't change oh, that is so so there's... so they have workflows based on status driven workflows but you can't do anything except for the default statuses <laughs> and if you had a bunch of like weird custom statuses enabled for your account for a specific project that you don't want on your new projects well then uh, Unfortunately, yeah. there's, there's nothing to be forever. done about that now. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's a real, real it's challenge. Interesting. Um, the search still works. Uh, <laughs> mostly. Most, mostly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that has actually persisted unchanged. They've walked back a number of the... So you recall, like, two years ago, the big deal was, in addition to, you know, all the search box filters, they had the top line tabs you could click on the results to filter by yep. things like people who follow your company, people who have been in, uh, emailed someone from your company, or connected people from your company have applied to one of your jobs. And sort of. They've walked back about half of them since the initial launch. They've kept the ones that most people used, I guess. Nice. Yeah, because they, yeah. hide, they hide half of them between another down menu. That no, it's, it's, almost you, it's almost impossible to see. It's like a gray skinny <laughs> bar. <laughs> but even even those are less than they used to be. Um, but you want to know what product from LinkedIn has really started to come into its own? I think Sales Navigator, which is an entirely different platform so with that, an entirely different team. And that's the, so that's, good. The, that's the thing I've been paying for 
out of my own pocket for the last three years. This is what I always revert back to. And it's why I was like, when, when I don't have LinkedIn recruiter access and they're like, do you need it? I'm like, no, actually for what I need, I can do without having any pre premium. But if I really do need search, Shelf Navigator has some filters that, especially for what, like talent mapping. It's like, well, I'm looking for people in a company with a similar kind of growth that's us, which Sales Navigator gives me that. So it's like, I want where the engineering department has grown more than 10% in the last year. And generally, like, you know, it's a growth company with more than 20%. Like, I can do that search in Sales Navigator and nowhere else. Yeah, exactly. And it's um, actually, like, it's a, a different UI. It's a different platform. It's a it appears to be a different overall algorithm. They've, they've quietly started introducing just sort of a bizarre note, natural language search patterns. You remember like Facebook graph? Well, there's some graph-like searches available now on Sales Navigator. So, th but that's interesting uh, <laughs> because sales, sales people don't know Boolean, right? Like, I mean, no. it's a different audience, right? It, and, it, and it's a much larger audience. Sales people will learn and buy oh, yeah. anything that yeah. helps them get a marginal, <laughs> fractional percentage increase in their but, number. But, but as you said, they're a lovely audience. Perfect. I love sales, but sales people call me about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, as you true. said, it's like, <laughs> like percentage <laughs> of what you get for the price of like, Recruiter Lite. It's like $79 but, but, a month. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's nothing. So and good. I'm like, <laughs> I get a lot of the filters that I like with LinkedIn Recruiter, and but I also get filters that is nowhere close to any of the Recruiter products, which mm. I would love to have in a Recruiter product. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm definitely, like I've been, yeah, as I said, I've been paying for Sales Navigator. I always have them running at the same time. If I have LinkedIn Recruiter, I will use other searches in Sales Navigator or just use the mm. kind of identifying the companies I want to target in Sales Navigator and then use that data. And the existence of Sales Navigator makes Recruiter Lite the worst possible choice. <laughs> exactly. Because uh, it and costs 40 for a month yeah. and you get folders. <laughs> exactly. That's it. <laughs> Killer feature. That difference. Folders, folders that you can do nothing with <laughs> yeah, because you, you can't search based ways. and you can't search based on who's in them. Oh, right, right. You that got, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you also can't actually do that in the new version of Recruiter. Uh, <laughs> you can't say, removed, like, show me people not, I haven't added to a project in the last no, month. You, you can do not in any project, but you can no longer do not in, in this specific, specific oh. project even in recruiter corporate and that was a huge loss oh wow i use that architected yeah. our um, is that i figured out that, that was boolean based you could you like, could conventions if you recall uh, i don't know who who was the one who really hyped on this for being able to search it like put a thousand people each in like 20 different projects and exclude that was me that was yeah. that was my mad that was, was that your article <laughs> yeah and you, could only, you can't and you do could that only... anymore your your trick is broken it's gone <laughs> well, I don't work there anymore, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, it's uh, that's okay. Probably half the people there haven't noticed it doesn't work. They just keep doing the same thing because they were taught to do the thing. Um, but it's yeah. They, so overall recruiting activity still an option in recruiter RPS and corporate, not in light to do people you've contacted or or viewed or whatever. They're not always working correctly, but they're there. <laughs> but you can't do on a per project basis and, and tag based search. Uh, you used to be able to, in, instead of projects, you could do tags, custom yeah. tagging. I will say the one feature in Sales Navigator that doesn't always work properly is tags. Yeah. No. Um, creating and using custom tags appears to be broken for me. I haven't made it work yeah, yet. Yeah, I would yeah, like yeah. to have it. But it's tags, and, tags and the equivalent of projects in Sales right. Navigator. Little growth. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah, not not what I need usually, but they're useful sometimes in organizing data, especially across teams. And the switch between like company, like searching for companies or accounts, and searching for leads, which is the people. Could, it's like, yeah, it could, could be a little yeah. bit more intuitive, like yeah. or just more clearly delineated when you're moving <laughs> between. So like you can tell which one you're looking for, different color background or something. Yeah. You know, no, no. I, I, overall, I, I use a lot, especially in countries where it's new to me or industries that are new to me is like, okay, Where you who, don't are know the the players. Yeah, exactly. yeah, who are the companies that are like a similar size in a similar industry in that geography. Um, and then like using the, yeah, using the companies and like, what the company thing does is that it's going to show me the, the key players in that company on the 
sales navigator company page, which is like right. quite useful. Like, you know, CEO, head of people, things like that. And, and yeah, I like the little roll up with the a premium yeah. uh, company. Plus data you get all the premium yeah. insights that. Yes. Like, I was going to say, or, is there yeah. an equivalent to talent, in, not talent insights, but no, the, so you get, the you get the, you get the insight. because it's a premium version of LinkedIn, you get all the insights on how much have they grown? How many people have they hired in the last year? Uh, okay. You know, which, and you, down to which is also why I keep it because that then that goes over to the to the standard LinkedIn that if I look at a company page yes. on the LinkedIn okay, so I get the insights the standard yeah. and you get also the job seeker talent insight so everything you yeah. get with the business premium account yeah. which is a terrible purchase because for twenty dollars <laughs> more you could get LinkedIn Sales Navigator exactly <laughs> um, yeah so uh, also just hopefully no one falls for the job seeker scam. God, I hope nobody pays for well, that. Well, I actually I take that back. If you love LinkedIn learning courses, you get those for free now at JobSeeker and all premium accounts. Little known, side benefit. Mm -hmm. no, love just, Linda. If you love Linda or whatever they call I, I used to pay for Linda again. Like I used It's to only pay thirty dollars a month. Yeah. If you buy if you buy LinkedIn learning, they give you free job seeker. And if you buy any <laughs> premium LinkedIn account, you get free LinkedIn learning. So they don't advertise this as much, no. but it's kind of neat. I took a couple of uh, classes recently there they were i mean i, I did some like <laughs> you know, i i did some like cloud computing for beginners and like you know it's, it's like it's just getting the concepts of new technologies and things like that i like doing just the intro i courses. took some boolean search classes to see if there's anything i could do better than mine, actually <laughs> um I, I didn't find anything yet but i'm looking um so uh well no it's uh the LinkedIn Learning isn't the platform we're here to talk about. I have some issues with that too. Um, yeah, well, I, I know you have a hard cutoff, David, as well. Um, let's let's get to the, to the part that I call shameless plug. Um, where can where can people find you, and especially well, either see you live or where can they find more about you, and where 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 are you next, David? Okay, so main place to go, you know, sourcingcertification.com. That's our like home for the part of the business that I'm primarily involved with. Uh, and there's like an about blur. If you buy one of our books, there's an excellent about the author section that'll tell you even more about me if you um, really want to know more. Um, so again, Sourcing Answers is the new one. If you go to sourcingcertification.com, there's a link in the upper right, right there. You can go straight to it. Um, but I'm all over the place. Like uh, I, I'm, I'm usually under like the Dave Galley now uh, on most platforms. Uh, if you're really... A good search so you can find my old handle and find yet some other <laughs> things I've gone by in the past. Um, I don't don't have a lot of speaking gigs lined up this year, actually. So you know, uh, you know, Q two, Q three, Q four. If you uh, need a last minute speaker, reach out. I may be available. Um, I, I love to like talk to people and help them and conceptualize and solve problems. That's actually my my real goal. Why I sort of got into the whole teaching thing. That's what I'm about. Tell me what your problem is. I will be happy to see what I can do to help you solve it. Perfect. And where can we uh, see you and read more about you next? I will be uh, holding court in my living room. <laughs> I, I don't, <laughs> you know, I, I am, am, am uh, not traveling much this year. I am going to yep. be going, I'm going to be traveling personally to, to Lisbon for, for SourceCon, but that's on my own dime. It's gonna be uh, that the, the hallway track. Yeah, just because I love. Yeah, exactly. Because I love. Uh, you know, I love. I, I've always wanted to go to Portugal, um, nice. and yeah, I don't think that. Uh, don't think I'll be doing too much speaking either this year. Just, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank David because uh, he he was a big mentor to me, um, and still continues continues to teach. So um, kudos. Uh, I, thank you. That's that's very kind of you. Uh, I. Uh, love following what you do uh, with all of the different API and, and hacking things because it feels like you have made the time to do all the things I've always wanted to take the time. And like, I, I thought I should do this. And then I see a blog post, oh, Aaron did that. <laughs> yeah, um, which is fantastic. I love, uh, I love like taking what you do and then taking it apart and see if I can do it better. It's like a personal <laughs> challenge to me. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes awesome. I, Sometimes I can't. Yeah. Sometimes I can. I should be better about messaging you and telling you when I find a better way. Yeah, anytime, anytime. <laughs> well, same. Said, uh, my, sure, my, so. my, 
my uh, my my living room is is uh, is is just uh, one click away. <laughs> nice, nice, excellent. My 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 office is. <laughs> oh, where well, we, where people will see you next is on the twentieth of February. Uh, oh yeah, the Sourcing hackathon. Challenge have partnered with Amazing Hiring uh, mm -hmm. to run the hackathon, and for the first time, I think in in uh, Amazing Hiring history, uh, we actually put it at one p.m. Eastern time zone. Uh, oh. So this is not a European time zone where all the people like David always seven up seven, six or seven a.m. Um, so we put it at uh, one p.m. Eastern, um, so that the Pacific time people can also get out of bed and actually get to the office with a cup of coffee before it starts. Nice. So that will be and that is a that is a gauntlet being thrown down to Europeans <laughs> who don't sleep. Exactly. Um, so it's like, yeah. Americans. speaking to Amazing Hiring, we decided not to run two on the same day just to get the Europeans. So they're like, well, it's still in, it's in the evening, but it's still, you know, it's seven o'clock Central European time. So there's no excuse. It's, it's PM. Uh, Spaniards so not, like you don't, don't sleep. You no, don't, exactly. don't, you don't eat until 11. It's an hour minutes. before we start eating in Spain anyway. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So yeah, so that's going to be on the, the 20th. I'm going to put the sign up because uh, it's open already. I'm going to put the sign up link in the, the show description. So yeah, if you want to hear more on Aaron and me, because it's, yeah, we're pretty much going to you know, give you all the questions and then have a bit of fun for an hour and a half. Uh, so that's well, going to be there heckling in the chat, probably. Exactly. I mean, David, <laughs> David, 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 I think you won one year or you, you finished? I did. I did. Yeah. Um, and so, I honorable mentioned a couple of times. Exactly. And then time so, hasn't I, worked I, out. I, we, you have those people who defy all odds and get up at stupid times from North America normally. So we wanted to give a chance for all of those teams that normally just don't get up that early. That's going to kill my chances. I, I really rely on being the only one awake at that time. So, yeah, well, that's, on the, that's on the 20th of February. Let's give the first question right now. Name the Spaniard who painted the shirt I'm wearing. So, if you can do that. There we go. Then, uh, then, you're, then, you're, then you're down, you're down I'm, one question. I'm, I'm about 10 minutes away from the museum from that guy. So, yeah, it's... Uh, Definitely interesting. Um, so that, yeah, I don't so have that's Google you... open, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, I stopped remembering things about 12 years ago. <laughs> and if you were fast enough and you find yourself in Barcelona next week, I will be speaking at the Barcelona Recruiter uh, Meetup, which is going to be oh, hosted cool. here, actually just behind me at Typeform. Um, I know that all the tickets were sold out within pretty much 24 hours, so there will be 120 recruiters from Barcelona. Um, coming to Typeform and drinking our beer and listening to me and uh, the but for the recruiter control. paparazzi like that's the <laughs> venue exactly. to be outside of <laughs> <laughs> so so that's where I'm going to be next week um, we will be back with a show next week as well we'll probably record it on Wednesday because I'm doing the meetup on Thursday and uh, Sophia will be back again mm. um, uh, so yeah that's looking forward to seeing you all there and uh, thank you David for uh, for yeah for jumping in last minute because I, I, I really wanted to talk about LinkedIn and I knew that what you and Irina does is, is what goes beyond what any of us would ever imagine, like just digging into the weeds of what changes LinkedIn does in all the different versions. I mean, anybody who wants to know how to get by with a free LinkedIn um, and what, you know, what the limitations are. I know you have more and more practical, like the, the fewer features that are R and recruiter, the more practical using <laughs> exactly. regular becomes. Exactly. Oh, they, they, I didn't even get it in there and now this is all postscript, but <laughs> the other huge problematic change was the, the import feature completely yeah. destroyed. Yeah. Can't, can't in mass import people anymore uh, exactly. to LinkedIn recruiter. Yeah. That is a huge... well, I would be remiss in not mentioning any. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, We're no. almost thinking about dropping LinkedIn as a result. Because <laughs> that was a big thing that made it worth it, yeah. Yes. yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, look, thank you for, for having the time. And, uh, Absolutely, yeah, anytime, at, at least once a year. <laughs> <laughs>